Welcome back to Ayaztec. In this video, I will show you that how you can patch value in your Angular Reactive Form. So let's begin. This is my uh, Angular project, and this is the source code. This is very basic structure right now. So I'm going to add a Reactive Form in the app component to use it. So I will create a very basic form in html as well and uh, before doing anything else we have to go to the app module and there we will have to import the reactive form module uh, module so okay i just have imported the reactive forms module in the apps module now we can go back to the <coughs> html and here i will create a form tag and in the form I will create form group and here I would have to refer to the component property or variable that we will define after this so we have to create a form group variable here that will keep the form group in it then we will refer that variable here in this form group directive so So I just defined this variable. I can refer that variable here. After that, I will create a constructor. And as soon as the component is initialized, the constructor would be called. And inside the constructor, I will uh, define or create my form group. So in order to create form group, I would use a helper library that is form builder. Okay. Now I will create the group. And we will save this group inside the form group property. And in this group function, I am going to define the properties or fields for this form so for example i would like to have name and after name i need maybe age now let's try to show them in the html So in the HTML, I would have to define all of those fields. So for that, let's create three inputs. Here we would have to add the form control name to link this input with the control that we created in the component. So this the all these are three controls. And we have to link every one of those with our inputs. So you have to specify the exact name that you have specified in the group function here. Okay, I will copy paste this and I will add the other fields like age, address. Okay. Now if you look at this, we have the name, age and address fields. So at the end, I will display the output value of the form. So for example, if you want to see how the form values look like to you you can see them in real time for that you can just type form group dot value and pipe it through the json so with that it will show you the all values for these uh, controls and in the component if you add some default value that default value would also be reflected here so At the bottom, uh, I will add another button and I would call it 
patch value so if somebody clicks on this button then we will create an object that object would be patched or added uh, into this group so we will update the values of these controls with the help of that object So now when somebody clicks on the patch value button we will call a function so this is a custom function that we will create here so in this function so in the patch value function whenever this function is called i will uh, i will use this form group and i will call a function patch value so this function basically exists on this form group that you can just call and when you call this function you have to pass the object so in this object you can specify the fields that you want to update for example i want to update the name field you can just specify that and uh, you can type anything just to see if that is working so i will type a simple string here and in order to make it work you also have to add another line at the bottom that is update value and validity so this is the compulsory whenever you patch a value you have to call this function to, to make those changes effect so for example right now you can see this is the name if i click on the patch value you will notice that the value has been updated okay so similarly you can add multiple fields as well here like this so if you add this one and then you apply it again you will notice that the value would be updated in only these two inputs so now i don't want to manually add them i already have a object that i can use in here instead of adding uh, an object myself so i will just refer to that object this dot object for patch so whatever values are in this object would be added and updated in our form so let's try that for example if i click on that you can see that the form has been patched so if you change it you can see the real time changes in the bottom and if you click on the patch it will update those values again for you so this is how you can make use of patch function in angular so if you have any questions then please leave them in the comment section i will answer them thank you for watching see you next time